Hi, Yarnabees. It's us. <laughs> Screw shapey. We are at the market. We are set up and ready to go. It's crazy busy here so far, like just with crafters. So. And you know you're at a real farmer's market when they put you in the barn and there's sawdust on the floor and everything. Yeah, look. Check this out. It's an, it's an actual like barn and there's sawdust. Like seriously. <laughs> Okay, so here's my setup. I've got my hat, hat and cowl sets here. Sorry about the hammering here. People are still trying to get set up. We've got the hat and cowl, or uh, hat and triangle scarves. And then I've got my pocket shawls, my non-pocket shawls. <laughs> and I've got my mannequins. And then I've got my setup over here with all my hand sanitizer and all that. And then I've got all my sweaters. And then I have all my hats and my all my other stuff here. See? This is not the setup that I, I usually have. Um, usually I ha my setup is... I've got decorations and all of that and I I can't find my my box that has all of my decorations and stuff in it so yeah um, I got my eyelashes on <laughs> uh, and of course we've got our masks so yeah so wish us luck hopefully it's gonna be a good day it's beautiful and sunny out so far Tomorrow might be raining, we're not sure. And guess what guys? There's vendors here that are actually that actually have yarn. Yeah, right there. But unfortunately it's probably all wool and, and I won't no be able over. to uh, I won't be able to use it. So but I'll um I'll do a bit hopefully I'll do some video of uh, some of that later. Okay, talk to you in a while. Bye. Okay, so <clears throat> we've been here for two hours now, not one sale. People won't come into our booth. Um, and we just found, figured it out that people are afraid to touch our product. Um, you know, they're allowed to put hand sanitizer on their hands and then touch everything, but they don't even want to do that. So I'm just not even sure. I'm not sure what to do. It's uh, not a good scene, but yet they're buying the f baked foods and stuff. They're buying that, you know, and uh, so yeah, I don't know what I don't know what to do, guys. It's not uh, not good. Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. Ah, what a morning already. <laughs> Excuse my hair. I just got my hair. <laughs> my hair. I just got out of the shower. I just finished doing my 25 days of blissness and I figured I better do a vlog as well because I haven't really given you guys any updates. So <clears throat> um, in a bit of a tizzy right now. I'll tell you that later. But uh, yeah. So I got a few things. It's going to be hopefully, well, hopefully a quick video. Very hot. Very hot. Ow. <laughs> wow, Rosalie, this cup really keeps things hot. Woo. Ah, now my eyes are watering. Okay. All right. So my CPAP. I gave up. I gave up on it. I couldn't do it. Uh, I gave it two weeks, but I just could not seem to get past the two hours. And um, you need to have four hours for it to, for the ministry to pay for it. And once two hours was up, um, I'd wake up and I'd just be like ripping the thing off my face. I, I was starting to have panic attack. So, uh, I took it back and I nicely declined and said, you know what? Sorry, but this is not for me. 
I will say that I have found a difference since not using it. <clears throat> um, I guess it did do something for me. If there was a way for them to come up with something for people that have claustrophobia to be able to wear something that's not going to make them freak out, then I would definitely wear it. Um, I did find that I woke up and I was like clear headed and I was uh, energized and but I didn't know if it was because of the CPAP or if it was because of the metformin. Um, now I know that I think it was the CPAP because now I wake up and I'm not so chipper and spry and you know and <clears throat> I don't feel as rested. So that's sad. That's sad because I think it was probably good for me. George said that I didn't snore. I didn't, you know, do the poo thing. He says that I, um, I was pretty quiet. So, well, of course, when you got this thing keeping your mouth shut. Um, so I've been trying really hard to be cognizant of what I'm doing when I'm sleeping, which doesn't help you sleep, right? Because <laughs> then you're always thinking, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. And I got to, you know, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. So yeah, until they come up with something else for people that can't wear these masks. Yeah. If it was the prongs, no problem. I could do that. No problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but the, uh, the other, nope. So there's that story. Um, the craft fair this weekend. Hmm. Yeah, no. COVID completely killed any kind of Christmas spirit at the craft fair. Uh, you couldn't see anybody, like you had the mask on. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You had the mask on, so... Uh, you couldn't see people's reactions. You couldn't see people smiling. Um, you could barely hear people talking. Uh, it was, you know, people wouldn't come into my booth. Uh, they were kind of just looking like that and then they walk away or they go, oh, that's nice. And then they walk away. Uh, they would not touch anything. They'd be like, like, like they're going to catch COVID off of something, <sighs> but whatever it is, what it is. It frustrated and angered me more than anything. Um, because our business like crocheting and knitting and everything, it's all touchy feely stuff, right? You got to pick it up, try it on, um, feel it, see how, how it looks on you before you buy it. So I'm really surprised we did as good as we did. Uh, because considering what was happening, it was, it was awful. And then we had the COVID police coming around. Uh, she put a, like on the second day, not the first day when we got there, the second day she came and put a big sign right in our booth saying six meters apart, uh, six feet apart, you know, Big words, COVID-19, uh, the whole thing. That killed business right there. <clears throat> um, we all had um, hand sanitizer. We had cleansing wipes. We had gloves. We had masks. We had everything that they wanted us to do, we did. So they had, like, we were actually in barns, right? So we were in the stalls of the barns outside. And they had a big gate that went all the way down to separate the two barns. The second day they came that morning and they took the gate away. I don't understand why. It was supposed to corral people so that we didn't get the hordes of people. Well, apparently the second day there was too many people too close together. And that's why this lady came and she just started sticking stuff up all over the place. But she didn't do it to everybody. The people that were behind us in the, on the other side of the bar, and they never got one. <coughs> Excuse me. I uh, had 
I had creamer in my coffee this morning and I, I'm lactose intolerant and I shouldn't have done that. <coughs> so I'm hemming. <laughs> so anyway, um, George in his infinite wisdom decided to move the sign <sighs> about an hour before the craft fair was over. She came around and she's like, where'd the sign go? I said, it's right here. It was right. So we put it on the wall behind us <clears throat> so people could still see it. Well, she went off on us, oh, on me, because George wasn't there. He was talking to somebody. And oh my God, it almost went to blows. She got her in my face and finger and everything. And um, like, she just went nuts on me. I mean, it took everything for me not to get up out of my chair and look at her and go, you better get out of my stall. You know, like it was not good. Um, she's like, well, I get paid to do this and rah, rah, rah. And I said, that's nice. I says, but you know, we were doing okay until you came around and started with this whole COVID thing. You know, everybody was keeping their distance. Everybody was hand sanitizing. Everybody was doing what they needed to do. And, you know, all of a sudden, nobody wanted to come near us. It was almost like you said, we have COVID. <clears throat> and I just, I, oh, I freaking lost it on her. And she says, maybe your stuff isn't selling, or she says, your stuff isn't selling because of these signs. I thought, what are you trying to say? You know, I thought, you know what? I almost called her a few names. Uh, <laughs> don't you dare tell me that my stuff isn't selling because uh, my stuff is crap. Like, you're going to cross a line that you don't want to. <laughs> like, I was, I just about packed up my stuff right there and left. Um, and this was not one of the people that was the organizers from the craft fair. This was somebody that they specifically hired to come in and do the COVID protocol. I get it. She was doing her job. She was not doing it in the kindest way. She could have handled things a little bit better. <clears throat> Um, so anyway, <clears throat> um, should George have moved the sign? Probably not. Uh, I told him to leave it alone, but you know, George, <laughs> he has to stir the pot. So yeah, I got the brunt of it. He felt really bad. He says, why didn't you tell me to come over? I was like, I'm in the midst of having a, a freaking fight with this lady. I can't sit there and go, oh, George, you know, like, come save me. <laughs> it was like, no. But anyway, so I won't ever, I won't do another craft fair until COVID is over. Uh, even then, I don't know if any, everything will be, become the same again. I think that this thing has scared people so much that, um, yeah. But you know what? But then people were going and buying food. Like it was a farmer's market, not a craft fair. So they were going and buying food. Um, okay. You don't know these people. Uh, I don't know. It, it just all, it, it was a really bad taste in my mouth after that. Um, it almost made me not want to do fairs anymore. It almost made me not want to crochet items anymore. Like it, it really made me question what I do. That's how bad it was. So <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. Okay. Moving on. Um, The 25 Days of Blissmas is going on, in case you didn't know. <laughs> um, for those of you that, oh God, my hair is terrible. I, I, it's still wet. Um, I'm doing the 25 Days of Blissmas with Rosalie at Yarn It Out and with Jennifer Cinnamon Stitches. She is my 
surprise recipient of the 25 days of Christmas. Uh, Sandy left his right crochet and I are going to be doing it in January. A little late, but you know what? It's okay. Because in January, I think things slow down a little bit. It gives us content and, and we get to have fun while we're doing it. Right. So, um, so yeah, that, that's going to be fun. So go check out their channels. The link is down below. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I know that there's a lot of Vlogmas out there right now, and there's a lot of 25 days of Christmas out there. I get it. You're going to be overflowing with videos that you have to watch this, uh, this Christmas season, but what else are we going to do? Right. <laughs> it's like, you know, they're starting to do shutdowns again and all this other stuff. So why not watch videos, crochet and watch videos. <laughs> Um, also, a lot of people are asking me about my sister's bags. Okay. This is my sister's bags. They're just mini bags. They're not huge. They're just little bags and they're for yarn ends or thread ends, or you can put your hooks in here, your stitch markers, um, if you could put makeup in here. You could, I mean, you could put so many different things in here. It's crazy. So I put, just in case you haven't seen them, I put little tassels on with little oops, things here. Uh, these are approximately with the band folded over. Uh, what was it? 10 by seven, no, seven. Oh crap. Now I forgot. Um, hang on. Okay. They're seven by seven. If you've got them up all the way like this. Um, but they, I, I fold them down so you can see the outside too. They are reversible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So you can have it that way or Or you can have it that way. Oops. I'm really terrible at this. <laughs> or you can have it this way. <laughs> okay. Um, so a couple, a couple of them have sold already. I just put them up in the, my Etsy page. I've only got a couple up on my Etsy page. Um, I haven't had a chance to put the, um, the tassels and the the grommets and stuff on the, uh, the new bags. Yeah. I just went and picked up the new bags on Sunday after the craft fair. So this one is still available. They're $12 plus shipping. I've got a flat rate shipping of $6. Okay. So there's that one. There's this one. There's this one. Now the ones that I haven't gotten to yet that are not in my Etsy page. She's just going crazy with these bags. Oh my God. Um, there's, I love this. She made me one of these. It's got little dog prints on it. So I'll be putting the tassels and stuff on that one. There's two of those. Um, oh, I love this one too. This looks like jean material. Oops, hang on. <laughs> Still not straight. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, I'll fix all that later. <laughs> so there's that one. Now, please remember, my sister's still having problems with her eyesight. They're not perfect, but they are really pretty and they are functional. Um, she's trying to get better, um, but sometimes her vision kind of messes her up a little bit. Okay, there's this one. It's per These were her wedding colors. So, yeah, red and purple. Never would have thought to put those two colors together, but it looks nice. There's this one. There's 
this one. <coughs> now this one's the same as the other one, except it's just reversed. Uh, this one with the flowers. Oh, there's two of these. Okay. There's two of these ones. I love that tie dye. Is this one? The paisley stuff in it. <coughs> there's this one. And there's for the music lovers out there. There's this one. It's purple. Whoops. <laughs> Still got threads on them. Like she just finished them when I when I came, so I have to get the, th the little threads off and put the tassels and stuff on. So those ones are not in the Etsy store yet because I still have to um, get them all done. <sighs> so there you go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've got so much stuff I have to get done. I, a lady from the craft fair asked me if I could make her pocket shawl. Um, I thought, sure. No big deal, right? And then she said she wanted to buy this one. The, oh, this one that I had made. Oh, come here. Uh, it's actually, it looks brown, but the funny thing is, interesting fact about this and I can't remember what yarn this was uh it was what was it it was a cake I can't remember um in inside it looks like different shades of brown when you put it outside it's purple it's the weirdest thing like in the camera right now it looked purple or looked brown and you have it in the sun and it looks purple weirdest thing ever anyways so she's buying that one and then she wants me to make her a bigger one uh 10 inches wide so I started doing that and I'm making up my own pattern and I've had to frog it five times and now I've got to frog it again because I put it aside so that I can make something else for someone that I got to get in the mail. And now I can't remember what hook I used. The hook wasn't with it. I don't know what happened. I have really got to get a better system because I should be putting this stuff in my project bags. And then at least that way I've got my hook and everything and I don't have to worry about my chair eating my hook or me putting the hook down somewhere and mixing it up with something else. Um, so now oh, I'm so ticked off. So ticked off. It's taken me so long. It's 200 stitches across. So now I have to freaking well frog it again. I'm so pissed off whenever I get an order for somebody like to do um what's it called consignment not consignment consignment anyway when somebody wants me to make them something like that and they pay me to do it I get really um freaked out and I just uh I start getting panicky and then I start messing up really bad and uh, I like it when I could just crochet make stuff and then people just pick from that but I was stupid and said, yeah, okay, I'll make you one. And now she wants me to make her a second, uh, another one for her friend. And she needs it by the 22nd. I'm not good with that at all. It's like pick what I've already made and be done with it. But yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, so I'm trying to get that done. So I've got one more gift I have to figure out 
to get into the box of stuff that I've already made and I got to send it off. Oh, I just, I'm so crunched for time. It's insane. So anyway, <clears throat> okay. Um, I just found a new channel. Not, she's not new. But she's new to me. Um, Mary Matthews Handmade. I think, no, I wasn't. I wasn't subscribed to her, I don't think. YouTube's been doing some weird stuff. I don't know. It's like people I thought I was subscribed to, I'm not subscribed to. And people I didn't know I was subscribed to, I'm not getting their notifications. It's like, ah. Anyway, I just watched one of her videos yesterday. And she did, She she's doing the 25 Days of Christmas. And the first thing she did was she opened up a Yankees candle advent calendar. I had no idea that they did that. I was so jealous. I was like, oh man, like they have little tea lights in each one of different scents. I was so jealous. I was just like, <laughs> you know what? People in the US, they get some great stuff. It sucks. <laughs> And then I went on to Crochet Creations by Christy. She has a coffee advent. Really? Like, where do I get one? Like, I looked on Amazon. I couldn't find one. I was like, oh, crap. So I have an advent coming. It's going to probably be a week late. And so I get oh, seven like. <laughs> but it's a candy one. Not what I wanted, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I thought I was going to have it in a couple of days and probably won't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I can't show you my FO, um, which really sucks, but you will see it. Uh, it was, it's being given to someone, a friend of mine, a YouTuber, um, when she gets it and puts up her video, I will link it down below. But uh, I can't tell you who it is and I can't tell you what it is yet. <laughs> so, which really sucks because I really wanted to show you guys. I was so happy with it. But that's okay. Soon enough. So, yeah, I showed you my pocket shawl. Okay. Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. <laughs> Yay! Um, the Colors of the Outback, her video is up. I've got the link down below. Uh, she did a great video, a great review video. Um, she really liked the hook. And now she, oops, <laughs> she's going to buy some. And she says her husband's not going to be happy with me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but hey, spread the love, right? <laughs> um, so... Uh, Wimpy Creative, she is getting the hook next. Uh, I got a video, uh, a video, I got an email saying that it's probably going to take uh, up to 20 days for her to get it from Australia to the Netherlands. That's a long time. That's crazy. So <clears throat> she might get it after Christmas. I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. We'll have, we'll have to see. Maybe the mail system will be nice. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for Sin's Crafting World. She's going to be getting the next, uh, the hook next. Uh, Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter, is, she sent it. And it's on her way to Cynthia now. So, yeah, I'm just waiting to hear if she has it yet. And that is that. Uh, that's about all I've got to tell you guys. Um, I think. Mm. Did you hear that? <laughs> I hope you guys heard that. Um, man, haven't heard that in a while, eh? Uh, <laughs> that's the fairy if you could hear that, that's the ferry um, that's just like a half a block down from our house. 
you used to hear it all the time when I was doing videos in the summer, when I was doing them in the living room, uh, or when I was outside doing them. And everybody says that they really miss that sound. So whenever I do a, a yarn fairy video where I get yarn in, that's why I have the fog horn uh, or the fairy horn in my intro is because for people that have, don't know who are new, uh, way back when I started videos, I was doing them out on my back deck and you could hear the fairies all the time. So I started calling it um, the Yarny Fairy whenever I got some yarn, that, a shipment of yarn that came in. <clears throat> so yeah, <laughs> just in case you didn't know why there was a fairy horn on my video. That's the story. Okay, so uh, I think that's all I have to tell you. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, um, also, we we really need to send out a lot of prayers and love in our Yarny community. There's so many of us that are not doing good. They're, they're not well. They um, are having a hard time. Uh, one off the top of my head is Seta. Uh, Seta was... Um, tested positive for COVID. Oh, I cried. When she put up her video, I cried. Um, broke my heart. Broke my heart. Uh, I just, I wanted to rush over to Virginia and, and take care of her. I didn't care. I was like, you know what? Like, oh, I love that woman so much. And I just... It, I, I keep messaging her. She's going to get so sick of me. <laughs> I'm going, are you okay? How are you doing? <laughs> you know? um, but she says she's doing better. Uh, <clears throat> she still has the pressure on her chest and, and whatnot, but she's doing okay. Her mom has COVID as well. She's in the hospital. Uh, she has some other health issues though, but um, she says that all on her video uh, her last video. So go over to Seta's place, give her some love. Okay. Because we, we all love Seta and we want to wish her well. Um, and I also want to send out, um, love and hugs to Jojo from Joe's web. Um, she's not feeling too well either. So I love you, Joe. Uh, I, I hope you're feeling better. But there's a lot of people right now. Tis this freaking season, right? Uh, I, I can't wait for 2020 to be over. You know what I should do? January 1st, when 2020 is finally done, I should do a big giveaway. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Anyways, okay, guys. I love you all. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for coming over from um, other channels and trying me out. Uh, I hope you stay and subscribe and thumbs up and all that kind of stuff. Don't forget to go check out my Etsy page, which is linked down below. I have patterns in there um, and my sister's bags are in there. So uh, yeah, okay. I, ta I will talk... <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Wow, I need another coffee. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.